Hello everyone, my name is Griff. Today we are going to be going over the newest banner, the Summer Mim banner, which actually, actually I believe is called the Tolls of the Death banner. I'm here on the download screen just as I start up the game because I believe there is a few events today going on, such as Free Summons and the Scratchathon, and I don't know exactly when those take place. So we're just going to go straight in with me logging in, and then uh, I'm going to quickly go over the banner and probably do my Free Summon. But this banner and this character is very interesting the story uh, or the rather the information dropped yesterday that really wasn't enough to make a full video content on it but i do think that now that we have a little bit more information i can talk more about it especially since we have a whole 10 days of free summons on this banner exclusively for her so it will be pretty interesting to see what we actually get from this information and it'll be pretty interesting to see uh how the community kind of talks about this character because she is a bit uh, in my opinion, she's a bit versive. She's a bit uh, special in what she can do. Here we have our daily bonus. Thank you, Not. And we have the Tolls of the Deep bonus for the last day. And then let's see if it puts me right into the Scratcher or if it does an Event Sir. It does an Event Sir. Okay, we're going to skip this for right now. That's going to tell me the banner's live. Look at her. She looks absolutely wonderful. And I love that skill animation. But she is a shadow mana caster. So a little bit interesting that they made her a shadow unit. Oh, let's see. Yeah, buddy, scratch that card. Or yeah, baby, scratch that card. I wonder what you'll win today. All right, let's see. Oh, she scratched it for me. Oh, Wormite. Okay. I believe that's 50 Wormite. Okay. <laughs> I guess I don't get to scratch it. I guess she scratches it for me. Let's see. And we have my sigils created from my... Uh, Last banner, yep. Duralia Scratch Long Reward. Okay. That's pretty cool. So it just happens straight when you log in. If I uh, end up getting the ticket or anything like that, I'll probably just do a quick little thing at the start of the video coming soon. But let's look to see what we have here. We have a push up from the celebration since they started today and a new Duralia Life. We have event information, just going over the new things that are going on with like half stamina and such, which is going on now. Half stamina for the Advanced Dragon Trials and the Agato Uprising. Half Gather Wings. Double drop events going on now. So you can see the dates in game here. And double and dr double drops for campaign starting on the 7th. Uh, it seems that it's switching along. Like these two are switching. Pretty interesting. Then we'll go up here. We have an Astro Raid this weekend featuring Shishima pretty uh on point since we're going to be having a uh Hinamonian summer event in the mid-month and he would be Hinamonian since he's from the new year's event then we have the free daily tenfolds which start now and you see here that they go from the 5th to the 19th and let's actually look straight at this real quick this banner lasts until the 15th so it lasts should last actually only you know it should last 10 days and then you're gonna have the last banner which would last from the 15th probably to the 20th and then you get all your summons on that very quickly i just want to see what the worm sigils are it's summer mim and high Cathonius. okay so summer mim and high Cathonius are the worm sigils on this banner no one else the first part the first uh summertime banner which was the specifically uh summer mim had a bunch of other summon units on it so I wonder if they're going to put more summer units on the uh, mid-month gala slash Hinamonian banner. Or if they'll just, you know, keep having it be just the units that are on focus. When we have the Platinum Summon, uh, I guess I'll quickly go over this. You get a dragon. It's not a dragon of your choice. So obviously I don't think you should do it because it's kind of a... I think most Platinum Summons are a waste. Especially this one where it's just a dragon. It's like, whatever. But then we have... Achi Achi. Let me check something real quick. I want to check what Mim's appearance rate is. I want to see if they did the Tiki thing. They did not. Okay, so she has a 0.5%. All right. The reason I look is because when Tiki's banner came out as the second banner of the uh, Fey event, Fey 2 event, or the Fire Emblem Heroes event, rather, uh, she had a 0.8 appearance rate because they said that she was a dragon and... She was a solo banner. It was a solo banner, so they wanted to give the dragon unit a rate up. Uh, I thought they might do that now since she's a, uh, you know, she's also a dragon. Mim's also a dragon, but it's also, you know, a solo banner. So I can understand why they wouldn't. Uh, looking here though, 
the Tolls of the Deep Summon Showcase is here. As you can see, we have Summer Mim here. Now that I'm in my swimsuit, I'm even more unstoppable. Now her first skill, Twi Twilight Memory, deals damage to surrounding enemies, reduces their defense, inflicts Shadow Blight, and partly fills the user's Dragon Drive gauge if the attack connects. During Dragon Drive, can suit some of the user's Dragon Drive damage. So, sorry, some of the Dragon Drive's gauge. Deals damage to surrounding enemies, reduces their defense, inflicts Shadow Bites, and fills 100% of the skills ready to use. Also, powers up the user's standard attacks. Standard attack buff will be lost automatically when the effect remain effects remaining time is depleted or when Dragon Drive is ended. So, essentially, she is a Dragon Drive character, which is super interesting to see. Uh, especially for Mim. And her being Shadow is kind of odd. But... She has the skill that she can use 100% uptime when she's in Dragon Drive, but it costs more so Dragon Drive, uh, the, the energy to use Dragon Drive instead of the energy of like SP, because you're obviously going to get it back after you use it. So you should make sure that you're at full Dragon Drive, but it does give you a standard attack buff. And looking at the data, which we couldn't see until today, this actually increases her uh, Dragon Drive fill rate by a bit so on her standard attacks normally she has 150 dragon drive energy per hit uh, when she has this buff she gets 200 and this lasts even in dragon drive meaning that she will be able to keep herself in dragon drive as long as you're attacking even if you don't have this buff she'll be able to keep it but if you do have this buff she'll be able to keep it even longer additionally it inflicts shadow blight and it reduces defense as you can see all here they last for about 10 seconds each so you should probably you know I would say that you go into Dragon Drive, you transform, you make sure that you're full, you use the skill, you get back up to full and use it again to keep refreshing that autos and keep refreshing the ability. Now I don't know if it has to land for this to happen, so it's possible that you know if, if there's downtime in a fight you could just use this skill and get the effect, but we'll have to see. Then her second skill, a Midsummer Night's Blast, deals damage in a line and grants user our strength amp. So she is a strength amp, it has a team level of three which is uh usually on the galva characters but now they're starting to put them on normal characters or at least the summer event they have uh a little bit of sp not great damage but again this unit is more standard attack focused and she is a mana caster she's a long range mana caster so she will be getting sp at a pretty quick rate if i'm being honest so it's it's just interesting to see her in this way and see what they're doing with her kit and then she has gauge accelerate which is normal and then dragon haste which is a you know usual the, usually they give that to dragon characters and then summer spark 2 grants uses a dragon drive game and changes the shift button into a dragon drive button tapping the button activates their dragon drive during dragon drive their standard attacks are changed and you fill the user's dragon drive gauge if they connect and then the user's strength is increased by 25 percent so you do get a strength buff and then you get 100 percent skill prep right off the bat so hopefully she'll be able to go straight into dragon drive from that uh first skill and second skill she'll be able to start with an amp she'll be able to start with this buff as far as i'm concerned i i it, i don't think she is see <laughs> i want to say she's not worth it and then summon for her, but um as far as character appeal goes it's mim in a swimsuit i don't know what more i have to say if you like mim you probably want this unit already on top of that, it's Mim with a gun, which I think is even crazier. On top of that, you have 10 days of free summon, so I obviously think you should do those. Past that, it's a bit harder to justify, especially if you have Shell, uh, because Shell, I I personally think that on paper, uh, Shell has more potential than Mim at the moment. But it is a little bit hard to see with these numbers. It's a little bit hard to 100% say uh, fully based on the information we have right now it could be a runaway case but from what i know so far i don't think that she is especially worth it in a meta sense but i don't think i think this is again one of those cases where meta almost doesn't matter as much as what your heart wants and i'm definitely going to get her this better it's just you know i have to get her if i get her on free summons i get her on free summons if i don't you know i have resources to spend to get her hopefully i get her you know right now when i click this uh free summon button but we'll see but all in all i do think you should do you obviously do all your free summons then you know when you have 100 sparks when you have or 100 worm stitches rather and you're at that point and you're looking back on this banner and you can see what you've gotten and what you haven't then i'd say it's a bit tougher decision but for right now for these 10 days absolutely go for it so i'm gonna click it right now let's see what we get 
Let's hope we get a five star. Let's hope we get a mimp. But let's hope we get a five star. It's now it's not a gala, so it's only four percent rate. So chances of it are low, and it doesn't appear to be one. But let's see if we get a transformation here. I haven't seen a gun transform, so it's possible. Nope. Yep, just four stars there. Two four star dragons. Not too bad at all for the first day. Yep. But that's going to be it for me for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time.